Hey guys, so I want to jump on here real quick and just do a quick little video on something that I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, some of you guys may know, all 11 of you that subscribe, may know that I'm very bullish when it comes to Tesla and have been for quite some time. Not because of the stock price and all the hype that's around Tesla right now currently, but for the long play. I believe Tesla in the future is going to grow even more and is going to take the EV market by storm and then go on to conquer the rest of the automotive industry. And I also believe they have a really strong shot at disrupting the utility business. So with that said, I wanna share with you guys the result from the most recent crash test of their Model Y. Now, why is this important? Well, typically SUVs or any of those type of vehicles uh, tend to not do so well when it comes to crash tests, uh, just because of their height and because of the safety features that most people want in those type of cars. A lot of SUVs and those type of model cars like the Model Y, uh, Range Rovers and things like that are typically held by moms and their kids. So it's important that Tesla meets and exceeds these safety features for it to continue to grow. And to me, the results prove that Tesla is gonna to continue to grow and is gonna gain in popularity, not only because it looks cool, it's energy efficient, and is the future, but it's also very, very safe. So I thought this article by Benzigo was pretty fascinating. Tesla has some of the safest cars on the road. Whether it's avoiding accidents or protecting passengers when an accident occurs, National Highway Traffic Safety Association, or the NHTSA, Tesla has shown Tesla vehicles have some of the lowest probability of injury of any car. Now the Model Y crash test video has been released and the results look good. Now go ahead and play the video so you can just watch it while I'm talking so it's, this video is not as boring. So there you go. According to the NHTCA website, specifically the rollover test showed a rollover risk of only 7.9. Just to give you an idea, compared with the Chevy Equinox, a similarly sized gas powered vehicle, it had a rollover risk of 18.5, more than double. Very good news if you ask me when it comes to safety, especially with those type of cars. That's typically, again, like I said before, that's typically what people are experiencing when it comes to the fear of getting an SUV is that rollover. So to be half the risk is truly amazing. So the video that you're watching now is put out by realsafecars.com and I found it on YouTube. Uh, I'll put the link down below so you can check out the whole video if, if you don't get to see it during this video. But they also rank cars by safety and I was curious to see what they said about the Model Y. And unfortunately, I couldn't find any for the Model Y. So I did see a ranking for the Model 3 in 2020. So I wanna check that out. So when you go into the website, one of the first things you see is um, this statement. And it says, we've developed a holistic system that draws data from a variety of sources to more effectively evaluate car safety. Designed by economists and machine learning experts, Ben Schiller and Bumija Ranjan, I hope I didn't butcher that, sorry if I did. Our system uses artificial intelligence and casualty analysis along with real world accident data to produce more accurate and meaningful information. So it sounds to me like they really are pretty detailed when it comes to their ranking. So let's check it out. Let's see what they have to say. So just a quick little search and uh, I found the 2020 Tesla Model 3 and when it comes to safety, their overall verdict is that this vehicle is safe. <laughs> so, so that's good news, thanks guys. Uh, based on our casualty analysis, we estimate 2020 Tesla Model 3 has a fatality chance for the yearly is only 0.0027. That is pretty cool. And lifetime is only 0.218. Now for the comparison section, it's compared with the average vehicle, a crash in a 2020 Tesla Model 3 is 24% less likely to result in a fatality. Compared with the average large sedan hatchback wagon, a crash in a 2020 Tesla Model 3 is 27% less likely to result in a fatality. Now those are good numbers. I mean, anytime I can reduce my fatality chance by 23 or 24%, that's good news. So that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanna share some of my findings. Again, I'm a Tesla fan, uh, so anything, any news that I find, I really try to dive in and try to take a deeper look at it because again, I really do believe in the company for the long term. So in this no way I'm saying that you need to go in right now and buy Tesla right now where it's like in the high 800s per share, but uh, do your own research, 
Oftentimes it's best to just kind of dig yourself and look at all the things that you think would be a good investment. I'm typically a long-term investor. I invest in companies I believe in that we're gonna that will do good in the long run so I can hold their stock for the long run. So that's it. That's all I have. Uh, if you want more information on why I believe in Tesla and buying into Tesla, I put a link here or here, whichever, I'm not sure exactly where, but one of these places, I'm gonna put a link to that video if you're interested. And if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate the support. I'm trying to get to about 200 subscribers in the next couple months. So your support would be greatly appreciated. And if you wanna see other videos like this or videos on finance, my personal journey, uh, how I save, how I invest. Please put some comments down below. I read those um, even though there's only been a handful. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.